Our bags are packed. Leaving. Um, you ready, Dad? You ready? You ready for this? I am. Kind of. Kind of? But I can't get my suit. Sorry. You're okay. We got all the time in the world, Dad. Yes, we are headed to Texas. Whoa, the elevator is closed on me. It is January 10th. Dad been looking forward to it for a long time. <laughs> Here's the crowd. Made it to Tejas. Just landed in Houston, Texas. Say hi to Chuck. <laughs> we met Chuck in Idaho on our elk hunt, and he just so happened to be flying to Texas. You got a layover here, right? Yeah. So we got a three-hour layover. All right, we had a uh, three-hour layover here in Houston, and now we're boarding the plane to go to Laredo, and then we will drive South, about an hour and ten minutes down to Zapata, Texas. You ready? Ready. You guys seen technology these days? Get your boarding pass on your phone now. Technology, technology. Where's my dad? <laughs> he always gets hung up at the, the ticket counter. They don't want to let him on. Better get out of the road here. The guys came and picked us up. Yeah. Got the guns loaded. That's right, all the goods are in that truck. The important stuff anyway. I think the truck number two is driving right as we speak. EJ is here. EJ's here, so we're gonna finish loading up uh, all our luggage and uh, off to the ranch we go. What up? Welcome to the video, dude. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you, I'm Eric. Yeah. EJ, this weather isn't too bad, man. This is beautiful. It was freezing yesterday. Freezing? How, what's freezing? 50. 50. <laughs> First white tail of the trip here in Texas. Right up State Street. That's cool. Right at the college, man. They're getting, those deer are probably smart. Yeah. Headed out to the ranch. We got about an hour drive. We'll be at the ranch. What do you think we'll be doing tonight? Just coming over. Everything. Game planning, shooting, sighting in the holes, shooting in the guns. Eating. 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 I expect some tacos. <laughs> That's right. The food's guaranteed to be great. It seems like the first thing we do anytime we go on a hunt is we have to stop by the local sporting goods store Never fails, to man. pick up things that we forgot. Well, at least we're consistent. Yeah. We're consistent with waking up late after alarm and not bringing enough stuff to our trip. Either. Well, let's, let's rephrase that. I always bring way too much stuff that I never use. I just forget the stuff that I really need. <laughs> Come get some tripods for the cameras. We didn't know if we'd be actually hunting out of a tree stand or a ground blind. So we figured we'd come here and either get uh, an arm to put in a tree, but we're going to be hunting out of ground blinds. So we just need two tripods for the cameras and we'll be good. All right, we just showed up to the ranch. This is the, uh, the lodge. Oh my goodness. Guys, take a peek at this. Whoa, 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 Brian. Whoa, antler overload, guys. Eric is just gonna lay on the ground in here for five, the next five days and just he's not, stare. He's not gonna stay in the bunk bed. He's no. staying right there. Can I just sleep on the floor? Look at these. Look at this mule deer. Look at this thing. Freaking tank. <sighs> Eric, it's your heart. You don't have a heart attack, okay? Antlers everywhere. Oh my gosh. Look at this thing. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's a giant dog. It's actually a giant bear. That's right. Yeah, there's a bear in here. Hey, there's a bear. Look at that deer. I'm gonna shoot one like that or, or bust. 
Or bust. Look at this. Look at that bolt. Wow. Look at that. This is insanity. Shit. Whoa. That's what you call the picket fence. Picket fence? Picket fence. Dude, you're such a whitetail head already. Dude, they have some of the coolest mounts. Look at these little fawns. Wow. Well, this is what we'll be for the next five days. This is awesome. I wish, well, I wish we'd got here earlier so we could have drove through the ranch when it was light, but we did see some deer right off the side of the road. Oh, look at is that Would that do? Yeah. That would do. That's a management buck. It doesn't have good genetics. Dude, Short eye guards. Here's that buck. Easy to oh, yeah. Look at that Oh, one. my gosh. They just killed this, what, yesterday? Yeah. Oh. Look at that rad thing. They're thinking this deer might be 14 years old. That's not that's different. Oh, that's oh, a different that's one? A different one? But the one you killed looks just like that, right? Yeah. That's why that was called arthritis. Oh, oh my God. God. Arthritis <laughs> and gingivitis? <laughs> that's a replica. Pretty good, huh? <laughs> yeah. Is that in Wyoming? Oh, that is cool. Really? That's EJ's uh, Rammy shot last year in Wyoming. This is a good color. Huh? That's a replica, too. All right, guys, we got to the ranch. We had an amazing dinner. Now, we are going to make sure the rifles are still sighted in for the dads tomorrow. Yeah. Eric, going to shoot the six and a half by 300. Check this out. <laughs> See that illuminated a... target out there? Yeah, we're ready. You ready? Ready. These things, uh, when you travel, man, you never know if people are throwing your guns around. Yeah. So you always sight them in before you get out there. We didn't have the option to shoot them during daylight, so we're shooting them at nighttime. Don't worry, we're on private property. This is 100% legal. Okay, I'm going to go top right. Woo! Dude, perfect right and left, about an inch high. This is sighted in. This is zeroed in at 300 yards. I know some of you guys that have been watching me hunt have been knocking me for my turret. It got bent, but it's bit, luckily it got bent, zeroed out. So I'm good. Zero, 300 flat. Still vortex, good. that's why you buy Vortex. Eric took a, a big spill elk hunting this year. Some of, guys, some of you guys were giving us crap because Eric's turret was bent. He had a little rust on his rifle. Uh, we don't hunt in ideal situations. Probably never. And uh, that's what happens. But look at... If you guys can see this, Are you done? Yeah. inch high, which right where he wants to be, see his is zeroed at 300, pretty rad. All right, Dad, you ready? Hopefully uh, this one's on, pretty sure it is. This is my gun, the Vortex, six and a half by 300. Killed some animals with those guns this year, right? Yeah, the weather not. bees? Weather bees have slayed this year. Slayed. <laughs> Did you make any adjustments? Not today. Okay. One square high. I mean, it's good. You're, you're, you're shooting good right there. I'm good right there. Right? Shoot one. Shoot <laughs> you. Eric, get, get video of this. Look at this I, camera. I said he looks like the camera guy. Like the camera guy. With the, with the headphones yeah. on, you know, for audio. Just like, uh, cast his name. Say that one more time. I didn't get a good cut. Okay, yeah. <laughs> All right, here's gun number three. Again, the Weatherby 6.5300. This is B-Max. Dead on. Weatherby. Right? Which target? Yep. Did you shot like on cue too? <laughs> Did he shoot in that? He's cake. He I like it. He's First time I've ever dialed a rifle in at night, but I like it. They weren't gonna tell me about these, huh? Oh, dude, that's a three. Cheater bug. I'll be back tomorrow morning to inspect every single one of them. <laughs> this place is cool though. So we got the rifles dialed in. They were all uh, shooting where they needed to be. And now we're going to do the bows. Night we're going to have a little contest, right? Yep. Got the night sights going. Got to hit. There's a little dot in there, which you can't really tell. 
because you can't see much. Yeah, it's hard. But we'll just take a walk around. Anyway, Brian's gonna go first. We jump into the blind real quick. Right jump now. into the blind. Oh yeah. Watch out for rattlesnakes. Watch out. Just real life situations. I got, I got a coyote. Hold on, real quick. You got a coyote in front. Coyote on, the, on the blind. Do you want to ruin your deer hunt and shoot the coyote, or just wait for the deer? <laughs> Whose coyote is that? Anyway? We'd call the dog, but no one knows that dog. That's my friend, dude. <laughs> What's his name? I haven't named him yet. It's a sheep. Oh, sorry. Okay, he max up. You got that draw. Cause you're scared of that draw. Money. Especially that last two Ooh. Of the draw, you need a tweak. That looks good. Challenge. Challenge accepted. <laughs> Have you shot kids? Not yet. He shot me. <laughs> Put all three arrows, messed up all three. Like Eric's Eric's going everywhere. Here. Now I can't even see the white dot. Thanks a lot. Just shoot for Brian's shadow. Just shoot it to kill it. That's the next phase is to shake the dot out. I remember where the dot is, I think. I can't remember. I forgot. It's low. Going forward. It's not as forward as you think. It's not that forward. Here. No. That's what happens when a real animal. Start. Just keep aiming it all the way until it hits the target case. Just like a rifle. Squeeze it off. I think I can't see that. I can't even see that. Oh, I see that. Good one. Way high. Liberty. Okay, let's go see the damage. Oh, I like the looks of it. I like the looks of it. Let's see here. Casey, BMAC, Eric. Dis distance award for me. Pretty I, don't, sure. I don't know what the point system is. Heart, lung, capacity <laughs> award. Dead deer. Dead deer. Either way, we all win. We're all winners. All right, we just got done shooting the bows, and uh, we're gonna be hanging out in the lodge for a little bit. We're gonna wrap up the night. Tomorrow will be our first day of hunting, guys, so stick with us. We're definitely doing semi-live videos, a video day, and I have a feeling that they're gonna be full of action. Lots of wildlife, lots of deer, javelinas and stuff like that, but here is everyone relaxing. End of the night, a long day traveling. We got all our pops here. If you guys saw on Instagram, who's your influence? You guys follow us? These are our influencers right here, our dads. We're finally here. Like This is a hunt we've been looking forward to for a long time. Um, we booked this probably a month ago. <clears throat> we just want to say, like, you know, we've been doing the hashtag, who's your influence to get you into the outdoors or hunting or fishing. Uh, you know, Hush Crew, this is, three guys right here, without a doubt. We were very fortunate as kids to grow up with wonderful dads, obviously, and uh, we just wanted to give back to these guys. We've been wanting to do this for a long time because these are the guys that made us passionate about what we do and, and sharing what we do with you guys. So this hunt is all about these guys, and tomorrow morning we're gonna go out and hopefully all three of these guys kill some awesome deer, and uh, if not, we're gonna have a great time, but. Uh, this is the way we surprised our dads uh, for this hunt on Christmas. Good evening, everybody. It is 9.30 on Christmas Eve. And I'm just finishing up my last gift to put under the tree. Casey, myself, and Eric have talked about this for a long time but we decided this year was the year to surprise the most influential people that we have in our lives which is our dads so I'm gonna put this under the tree tuck it way back under there and tomorrow morning my dad who's in town from Oregon is going to open up that package and Casey's dad and Eric's dad are gonna open up the same package. We're gonna film it all. And we're gonna surprise them with a pretty amazing surprise that we've wanted to do forever. So uh, I'm super excited, can't wait 
to see his reaction. He has absolutely no idea. And since we um, don't live in the same state anymore, don't really get a chance to hunt with him as much as I would, uh, would hope to. Definitely who I grew up hunting with. It's learned everything from. He is an amazing person, and I just really am excited to do a little something nice for him and give back, so stay tuned. Sleep tight, everybody. Come on. Susie, come here. He's got the other end. He's making a mess. He's got the other end. Susie. He's just ripping the hair off. Susie, come here. That was kind of a mess. The dogs had more fun than we had, but look at what my dad and mom just got, Corey and I. We got an awesome cookbook from Hank Shaw, Buck Buck Moose. If you guys want to learn how to cook some awesome wild game, check that out. And then finally we got our own pressure cooker so we can do some canning of pheasant or elk or bear, pretty much whatever we got. We were told that we were not supposed to uh, we're not. Do any kind of gift exchange. However, they cheated and got us something. But you can't ever outdo me when it comes to gifts. So, this is for you. Ever been to Texas? Yes, but not really. We're going to shoot some deer. Merry Christmas. Your flights have been booked. And we're taking all of our dads. Cool. Pretty, pretty surprising. He's never obviously gone to uh, Texas to hunt whitetails, nor have I. And it's gonna be an awesome trip. We're gonna go to BSR Ranch with our buddy EJ Veros and we get to ha have an opportunity to shoot some deer, some javelina, and some pigs from what I've been told. It looks like an amazing uh, place to, to hunt and we should be catching the tail end of the rut. So, a little surprise. I can't wait to see how Mr. Carl Butler finds out about his surprise and also Eric's dad, uh, William. So, Merry Christmas everybody. Today's the day I'm gonna go Surprise my dad with his Christmas gift. I've got the old Honda loaded up because I gotta go over there and uh, help him plow the driveway. Just about there, I'm in the neighborhood where my parents live. This is where I grew up, um, here in West Jordan, Utah. But my dad, unfortunately, has not had the best week. He just actually got out of the hospital this morning. Super scary, but he had like a twisted intestine which I don't know a lot about but it could be pretty dangerous and he's been in a lot of pain so I'm coming over here I am coming to help plow the driveway but he doesn't know I'm coming to surprise him so I'm gonna jump out I've got a little letter written up it's pretty simple it just tells him that he's gonna go hunt whitetails with me and the guys in Texas so this should be fun hopefully uh, cheers him up a little bit from being sick but I think me, Casey, and Brian are all pretty excited that we're able to do this this year for our dad. So let's see how he reacts. He's never hunted whitetail, and the guy is a meat hunter, so he's going to love going on this whitetail hunt. Okay, guys, I just got done doing the driveway for my dad here. Here's a, here's a surprise going down. Whew. Honda did the work. Driveway looks great. Got salt out. Everything plowed here with my dad. Dad, I wanted to give this to you for Christmas. Thank you. <clears throat> Go ahead and open it. <clears throat> Hope you're feeling better in seven days because You'll be in Texas hunting whitetails. Really? Uh-huh. Seriously. 
Yeah. <laughs> huh? Yeah, we got <laughs> we got plane tickets and everything's booked and you kidding me. We're going to Texas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be better. <laughs> yeah, you better get some rest. <laughs> <laughs> oh thank you. Mm -hmm. That was nice. Thank you much. Yep. <laughs> whitetail. Yep. Be your first whitetail, huh? Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna get the good one. Super. Oh Thank man. You. We'll be going with me, Brian, and Casey, and their fathers. All of us going to Texas. Really? Yep. Everything's booked. Plane tickets and everything. <laughs> all right. Way to go. This is gonna be fun. Living Ooh. the hush life. Shaking. Huh? Yeah, we'll be living the hush life, Dad. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Thank you, son. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Oh, goodness. oh man, that's cool. That's a cool feeling, guys. Wow. <laughs> All right, D Dad, you ready for this? Thank you so much. Casey has given me the title to his home. Yep. <laughs> it's going to be pretty confusing, probably. Okay, which one should I open first? This one? No, open the other one. It's going to be really United confusing. United Reservation for Laredo, Texas. What? Laredo, Texas? What are you going to be doing Laredo, in Texas? Texas? What are we doing in Laredo, Texas, Dad? Warm weather? Warm weather. I'm excited already. Check your first bag free. Dad's <laughs> Looks like flight a reservation docks? on an airline. Anyway. Round trip. Open the next one. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's you can so read through all those if you want. There's my That's name. Carl Butler. That's, That's your mine. ticket. Oh, to Laredo, Texas. To what Laredo, are we doing in Laredo, Texas? Texas, Dad? I have never been to Laredo, Texas. What are Texas. we going to do there? <gasps> Shoot. White tail Big hunting? White tails? What? Are you kidding me? Are we going white tail hunting in Texas Buena in January? Suerte Ranch. Buena suerte, Ranch. Buena suerte, Buena suerte. Are we going to shoot a big white tail? Do you want to shoot a big white tail? Yeah. Then you'll shoot a big white tail. <coughs> and some Smoking. javelinas and some pigs. In January. What? When in January? January 10th. Thank you, Casey. You're welcome. Okay. Love you. Hush life. The hush life. We're taking a. Uh, we're taking you. We're taking Brian's dad. We're taking Eric's dad. All we're the old shoot parts. some big white tails. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Smoking. You remember what? When I was five years old, the old man taking me pheasant hunting with our yellow lab. <laughs> put me in an irrigation ditch and tell me just keep walking and or in the brush. And the dog would be off here. I'd be over here and brush over my head, you know, just and then he'd shoot and I'd hit the dirt. And it was you know, all scratched up and dirty and but that's what we did. And then get home and say, time to clean birds now. Get your little hands up there and pull everything out from the inside. What was your first memory, Dad, of hunting? The first uh, time I really got uh, enthralled about hunting, I remember my uh, father told me that uh, he worked out at the Air Force Base and he used to uh, run the jets over this one area of the desert, maybe his mock runs and, and there's one place called Ox Nine. He said there that some other people had been out there and had seen a whole bunch of quail out there. And he said we we're gonna go out there and hunt. And I thought, oh okay. You know, I was probably seven or something. I wasn't too old. And uh, we went out there and it was you know desert. We were just walking down the roads and we were flushing quail and he was shooting them and I thought, wow this is cool. I, I got really hooked on upland hunting at that point, seeing those uh, quail flush and then Remember we took home, I don't know, four or five, something like that, cleaned them and ate them, and it's like, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> never, never forgot that memory, for sure. What about you, Bill? Well, when I was younger, I think I was about around 10 years old, but my mother was all, they always took, she always took us out in the hills, showed us deer and all that stuff. But every time we went hunting, she went hunting with us, because she, yeah, she could see a deer like that. <laughs> yeah. And but my uh, stepdad, I remember it was all in an old 53 or 51 Chevy pickup and, and we was driving down along this wash and a bunch of does jumped out of here. They were about 10 or 15 of them. And I said that so we was all gonna take off with Jason and I said, no, 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 just stay right here, stay right here. And we no more stay there and my brother was coming hiking down off the hill and the 
big old buck jumped out of the saved run. The saved run went up this side and was laying there and all the ghosts took off and he just stayed bedded right there. And he jumped up and my brother got that and that was his first buck he ever got. He picked five by five. <laughs> and that's what got me into all about hunting. But I always remember my mother was she always there and I got to pack the rifle and she bought a license and <laughs> stuff like that. But those are, that's what got me interested in hunting. I've been hunting ever since. <laughs> Never heard that story. That was cool. Mm -hmm. You hunt with your brother Mike, huh? Yeah, but my mother always, always wanted. She, she spotted deer. We didn't see nothing. There they are. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Some can do that. Yeah. Yeah. What's funny? Just something I want to share is, you know, there's all these big bucks around here, and it's so crazy to to just see and hear everyone talk about score these days especially on social media. And uh, uh, I, one of the stories with my dad, so funny, I put him in for the big bull hunt every year in Utah, trying to get him a big bull. And uh, what was it, last year he says, son, quit putting me in for that big bull tag. Cost 10 bucks a year for that application. <laughs> I, that's all right, I'll just get a spike tag. And, you know, I think it's just a good reminder that some people, especially like my dad, grew up hunting to feed, you know, they hunted to feed their family. There wasn't about score or big bucks or anything like that. And that was just a good reminder of that. I still put them in though. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure you guys can relate to that, just hunting for food and, and uh, none of this big buck stuff and the scores and all that, so. Yeah, it's all very silly. Like when you look at like the uh, overall picture of what we do, enjoy the outdoors and as a kid we enjoy the memories that are made and, and like big buck or big bull it was cool but at the same time like dude we never killed big bucks right dad no pretty average and the amazing thing is when you take your kids out when you take younger uh children out to hunt they're not talking about well don't shoot that when he's not big enough they're like there's a buck get him and yeah they just yeah kind of enjoy that experience of, of being out there and enjoying the harvest and everything I've never killed a big buck. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow will be Maybe tomorrow. tomorrow's your day. Anyway, that's what we're doing. <laughs> it's very emotional for us. You know, like some people would be like, oh, you guys get emotional about everything. <laughs> we do. We really do. I don't know if it came from these three. If, if William, Carl, or Terry were emotional people, I don't know. Still am. But we are, and uh, that's what's super rad about what we do is we can share these experiences with you guys, and it's it's not just a, an experience, but it's like an her a heritage thing that's been passed down, and not everyone uh, has had that experience, you know, not everyone's dad hunted or or grandpa hunted, but that's the whole idea behind the uh, hashtag Who's Your Influence is who got you into doing stuff outdoors because that's super important and if we don't pass that down to our kids and to the generation it will be lost so that's why we've been doing this and uh that's what this hunt is based around of uh is who got you into doing what you love and what you're passionate about <laughs> it's emotional dude huh shaking yeah thanks guys hey well stick with us this is going to be a semi-live series a video day every single day man yeah. Anyways, we love what we're doing. We're very fortunate to be doing what we're doing. And uh, we just wanted to bring the three guys that were the most important to us along and uh, do it with those guys because they were the biggest players in uh, what we do now. So I'm glad you guys do all the talking because I would just be a mess with tears and, and crying and whatnot. So very well said by, uh, by both Casey and Eric. And I, I definitely echo their sentiment. Love you guys. We really do.